Hey, what's up, guys? Hubadoo Gaming is back here with another video, and we're back with another NFL discussion, and we're we're here with a very sad topic. How did this even happen? Like, what the heck is wrong with the dang Falcons? So, as you guys should know by now, the Patriots did win the Super Bowl 34-28. Off of the best comeback in Super Bowl history, I'll give it to them. 31 straight points to come back. They were down by freaking how 20. They were down by 25 points in the third quarter. Like, come on. So, I'm going to be doing a nice recap and reaction, but you guys kind of already know my reaction. I'm like, what the heck? Why did this even happen? Why did the Falcons choke so badly? So, let's start off with the stats. Tom Brady, 43 for 62, 466 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. That was returned for a touchdown. LeGarrette Blunt, 11 carries, 31 yards, had a fumble. Um, James White was their leading receiver, 14 receptions, 110 yards, and a touchdown. Matt Ryan, 17 for 23, 284 and two touchdowns. Devontae Freeman, 11 carries for 75 yards and a touchdown. Julio Jones had an amazing catch. I don't even know how he caught that, but he had four receptions for 87 yards. So let me let me just give you guys a full recap at this point. First quarter was held scoreless. Um, that has been the scenario in the past six Super Bowls. Uh, nobody has scored any points in the past six Super Bowls, and it continued in this one, so it makes it seven. But second quarter begins, and pretty early in the second quarter, just about two and a half minutes in, Devontae Freeman gets a rushing touchdown to make it seven zip Atlanta. Uh, next possession, Patriots weren't able to get a touchdown or a field goal, and they actually fumbled. So then off of that fumble, the the Falcons take it, and they get another touchdown. So it's 14 zip, second quarter, like eight minutes left. Uh, a few drives later, Tom Brady throws a pick six, an 82-yard pick six, and that makes it 21-0. And at this point, the Falcons have a 96.6% .6 chance to win. 96.6. .6. Just think about that. And I was just like, holy crap. Let's go, Falcons. And teams that get a pick six in the Super Bowl are 12-0 and in the Super Bowl. All right? 12-0. and So now it's 21 zip. Two seconds left in the half. Uh, Steven Goskowski gets a field goal. So Patriots somewhat have a little bit of momentum, but really not, not much. Out of the third quarter, Falcons get a three and out. Patriots get the ball, and they get nowhere. But the Falcons come back next possession and get a touchdown. 28-3. to three. The Falcons have a 99% chance to win this game. 99% chance. Oh my God. You guys might want to lower your volume, but I don't know how this happens. 28-3. to three. Keep that in mind. Now, Patriots, uh, two minutes left in the third. They're, they probably gave up, to be honest. They probably did give up, and they get a touchdown. They miss the extra point. So to get some momentum, they're just like, yeah, touchdown. Only down by 18. Yeet, you miss the field goal. Down by 19. So now Falcons don't get anywhere. Uh, bad play galling for sure. They're, run they're not running the ball. They're passing it. Like, what the heck? And the Patriots go back, kick a field goal. They were held to a field goal. So it's still 16 with a whole... Nine minutes left. Think about that. 16-point lead. Nine minutes left. Come on. We can hold this, right? Then they get nothing again. Patriots go... Uh, actually, that possession... Yes. That is when the strip sack happened and Matt Ryan fumbled. And then Patriots got the ball back. 
got a touchdown and a two point conversion to make a eight point game. So everyone's just like, holy crap, time to watch the Super Bowl. It's 28 to 20 with five minutes left and the Patriots are down. So now at this point, like Falcons fans are just like, please don't don't do anything stupid. And the Patriots get the ball back, score a touchdown, and get a two-point conversion to tie it up and go 57 seconds left in the Super Bowl, and it's tied up at 28. The Falcons had a total of 10 yards rushing during this 25-point comeback. Think about that. Think about how bad pay play calling was in this situation and yes Telvin Coleman did get injured in this fourth quarter and I did I do think it paid it played a key role in this but still 10 yards rushing in all of the 25 point comeback and think about that you're up by 25 why are you not running the ball man I'm pretty frustrated and it's, it's it's Monday and I'm still frustrated whatever next up coin toss Patriots get it and I'm just like shit the game's over Patriots take it all the way get a nice screen pass to James White for the win and that's it he gets in he was he was touched at the three yard line and he literally just pushed his way into the end zone and man it, it hurt guys it really did hurt 34-28 final score. I gotta give it to him. Greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. In and I, I I don't know what to say at this point. Um, very disappointed. Don't know how the Falcons choked that bad. And I gotta I gotta say it was not Matt it was not Matt Ryan who lost in the Super Bowl. Um, it was definitely the Falcons defense not being able to stop him at all and the offensive coordinator with the bad play calling running not running any play like not not going for runs uh all these memes they're pretty dank i'll give it to them these these memes are quality but at the same time they're pretty dumb when they're, they're when they're trying to blame matt ryan because it was definitely not his fault um brady He's not the GOAT. He's not the GOAT, all right? A lot of people are saying he's the GOAT. He's not the GOAT. Belichick is definitely the GOAT. Uh, Belichick, he, I think he probably could have done this with any normal quarterback. Any any normal quarterback, I would say. Like, Think, think about how Garoppolo looked in the first couple games. Think about how good Jacoby Brissett looked in the game he played. Like... He has the best system in the league in terms of uh, of just managing the team, especially the quarterback position. Uh, running without Brady in the first four games and then still winning. I, I believe they won all of them where they lost one, one of those. But yeah, Belichick is definitely the GOAT. Uh, I, Tom Brady, not the GOAT. Peyton Manning, definitely or any maybe even Joe Montana so that's really all I have to say um it was kind of funny how someone stole Brady's jersey I wonder if he found it but yeah Julian Edelman there's always that one play in the Super Bowl that that is like amazing and that was definitely Julian Edelman's catch uh, off like the feet and stuff but I, I believe that that would have easily been a drop if the defender didn't try to catch the ball with his legs because that's exactly what happened but yeah and that should have been picked off at the start but it was tipped up in the air pretty lucky uh, also Julio Jones catch was probably one of the the best in the game also definitely a great a great catch um and yeah that's really all i have to say for this video if you guys did enjoy leave your uh leave a like down below subscribe for more content and leave your comment on what your guys reaction was for the super bowl i was really disappointed knowing they 
blew a freaking 25 point lead in like 17 minutes like god so once again that'll be it hubby gaming is signing out peace